Just when you thought joyless, whining social justice warriors couldn't possibly ruin anything else, they've now set their sights on Halloween. Every Halloween, someone ends up rocking a racially insensitive costume. That's right, Halloween is racist. So racist that one New Jersey school has banned the celebration entirely because it doesn't correlate with their policies on diversity. Whatever the hell that means. And now MTV is continuing its crusade to make everything you can ever feasibly imagine racist by targeting Halloween costumes. I'm pretty sure when Donald Trump imagines children from Mexico, he's just picturing this with a mustache and everything. Um, no, he's actually said on numerous occasions that he's talking about drug dealers, criminals and murderers, not little kids in sombreros and fake mustaches, but okay. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Uh, essentially a big brown sack they sewed some plastic fringe on to represent an entire group of indigenous people. Smallpox blankets sewed separately, of course. Right, because parents who dress their kids in fun Native American costumes are also morally responsible for the siege of Fort Pitt in 1763 when British generals allegedly handed out smallpox blankets to Native Americans for which there's no evidence that this even happened. Yeah, I think that one might be a bit of a stretch. Dreadlocks do not equal Rastafarian. Well, Rastafarians do actually wear dreadlocks based on a biblical vow which is crucial to their faith. But the facts don't matter, right? My hair is not a costume. It's not something I just throw on to look cute. It's a fucking wig. Does Marilyn Monroe roll in her grave when someone wears a blonde hairpiece? So you gave him a white towel, aluminum foil crown, your wife's lingerie, and a fake sword, and we're like, yep, that's an Arab. Okay, so while some black guy gets offended, on behalf of Arabs, the only person to actually get offended at this was an Arab who said his dad did dress like that. The bad news is there's a baby harem costume. And if you still want to dress up your kid like this, then Google Child Protective Services. First of all, this isn't even a thing. There's one dated link on Amazon which doesn't even have a picture. That's it. Secondly, did you just suggest that Child Protective Services should be called on parents who dress their kids up in Arabian Halloween costumes? What the fuck? But progressives are perfectly fine with pedophiles writing columns for Salon.com. That's trendy. Finally, a costume where white people are dressing like their own race and somehow it's more offensive. No, what's actually offensive is the stereotype that all white people like to run around in Confederate general outfits. Congratulations on trolling your own anti-racism video by actually being racist. If you buy this costume for your kid, I hope that you get into a car accident and have to be saved by black paramedics. That's right, buying a hat with a confederate flag on the front means you're deserving of a violent car accident which could leave you crippled and maimed for life. That sounds perfectly reasonable. And notice the costumes they left out. By the same token, cowboy outfits are racist because they culturally appropriate white 19th century Americans from the Old West. Oktoberfest costumes are xenophobic because they may upset white German beer maids. Yellow plaid costumes are offensive because they denigrate stupid white high school girls from Beverly Hills. Oh, I'm in. Wilma Flintstone costumes are misogynistic because they normalize patriarchal gender roles. Mad Hatter costumes are insensitive because they make fun of the mentally disabled. In fact, forget it, just cancel Halloween, cancel everything, ban everything, ban fun. What's next, Christmas? White guy with a white beard who comes from a place covered in white snow? Dreaming of a white Christmas? And I just gave MTV the idea for their next video. Everything is sexist, everything is racist, everything is homophobic. Everything is sexist. Everything's offensive to people like me.